Hello wonderful people, Groovy Mom here. And it's beginning to look a little bit like Christmas. I have a couple things to show you, um, but first I'm going to, I'm going to try to do this Blogmas thing, which is basically where you, or Vlogmas, I don't know, where you, I, years ago I did, I think it was called Blogmas, Blogness, where you blog every day, which is writing, um, or making like entries on your blog. I don't know how many people even blog anymore, but today I'm just going to talk about some updates. Um, I did do some more Thanksgiving filming, but I, I just, you know, here's, here's the problem. Here's part of the problem. Like if I have a review, I can film the review and I can usually get it up pretty quick. I have maybe one or two reviews that are still sitting around, but if I have like a compilation, the odds of it ever getting up are quite small. Like even if I'm doing a recipe, that's pretty good. But I had like, uh, our meals for the week. That was two months ago, I haven't gotten it out. Um, and now I have Thanksgiving, haven't gotten it out. I've been doing some crafting. So that's one of the things I wanted to tell you. So here is what I want to talk about today. One was the Vlogmas, I'm gonna try, make no promises, I might put her out by tomorrow. But first of all, I wanna do a cheers. I have my, this is a dollar store glass, I can't remember if I ever showed you guys this glass or not, but I have some ice in here and I actually have a little stevia. And then I have some tea where I made a cup of hot tea and then I just put the rest in the fridge for later. And this was like a winter blend Christmas something. I don't know. It's a caffeine free tea. Um, but here we go. I generally like a little bit of stevia on mine. I love this little pitcher because it's great when it's hot, but it is so nice for iced tea. Mm, yum, yum, yum. So cheers, hope you're having a wonderful day, evening. It's evening here. It gets so dark so quick here. I'm completely confused, not to mention um, with still being on a lockdown or prison or whatever you wanna call it, just being in the house and just being in the same uh, Groundhog's Day over and over, it just, ugh. Mm. You guys, that is so refreshing. So refreshing. Woo, one of my favorite things. Mmm. You know, everything tastes better off a fancy glass. You could drink piss out of a fancy glass. And you'd be like, yeah, that tastes good. Okay. I'm gonna edit that out, so eh. Okay. So First of all, I'm gonna show you this little craft. I think I did a little video on it, and if I did, I'll try to insert it here just on how I made it. But basically, these were two dollar store trees, and they came with tinsel around the outside. I took the tinsel off, and then I took a yarn, so you can see on the bottom. I took a yarn that I got at Walmart, and I just hot glued it around the whole thing. And so what I ended up with was two of these, um, and this was just something I did that night. This was a couple nights ago. I glued glued the star on. I didn't even know if I was going to leave it, but I glued it on and then I put this little bow on. So, I mean, I suppose I could break this star off if I wanted to and just fix it up. But I don't know what else to do with it. Like, I don't know if I should put some, like, little red berries on it or something and some bows. I don't know. I'm not sure. Or I could suppose I could leave them like they are, but like they are kind of look like, I don't know what they look like. But I thought they were cute. Um, right now they're by this candle and clearly they're flammable so but doesn't it look like snow like little lumps of snow I love it we need snow around here we don't have any snow it snowed one day and then it's gone and I love snow some people don't like it but I love it I feel like if you're gonna go through the cold you need some snow I've been doing a lot of Dollar Tree tra crafts because well let's face it we are on a budget um, we do have like most of our Christmas gifts mapped out already um, so I'm, we're not worried about that, but most of the time things up, end up being more expensive than you think they're going to be. That's just how it is. One thing I decided this year, I think there were a couple years, especially when I was working, where I said, I'm not even, like I, I could hardly even get a tree up, but I said, you know, I'm not gonna decorate that much. You decorate and then you gotta take it down. But the decorations really make me happy. And I'm not seeing, I'm not the kind of person that like, I don't wanna say does a nice job, because that's, that's not fair. Uh, I'm not the kind of person that can put up like 
those really beautiful decorations where your house looks just like, uh, I don't know, it could be filmed in a movie or something like that. For me, it's kind of a hodgepodge lodge of, you know, like window, um, window lights and uh, hanging lights and maybe even something I printed out and put in a frame. Just different stuff. So, um, and it's not really coordinated. So it's just Christmassy. I guess that's what, that's what I like. I mean, I, I love <laughs> the houses that look gorgeous and beautiful and they have beautiful trees, but raising five kids, I just, and having such a small house, we just never had that opportunity. I don't really have anywhere that I can put a beautiful tree that either a child or an adult or an animal won't ruin it. And we still have my son Ludie's cat. He can't have it as apartment until he gets it fixed. And so we have a little delay in that. So that kitty should be going to his forever home sometime in the next month. Um, but there's a couple other things going on around that that we can't transport him just yet but he is something else he is he has already ruined a couple plants and yeah a couple plants what else has he ruined oh my gosh he's just a terror I love him he's he is a great cat he's a male cat and I have two female cats so it's totally different having a male cat but he is just funny He's a funny, funny boy. So we will miss him, but I will be excited to have him go with Ludie. Um, so that was the second thing I wanted to talk about. I didn't want to talk about cats, but I want you to look at my glasses. So I went to Zenny. I've never ordered glasses there before, but I have heard um, reviews from people that just absolutely love them. And so I wanted to try them. I got three pairs of glasses for, I think it was like 130 bucks. I don't get any commission or anything off of telling you this. I want to try on these glasses and see what you think because I'm also kind of thinking I might order another pair because I was kind of happy, kind of not happy. Funny story. Maybe not super funny, but funny to me. Um, when I got these glasses, I think I talked about this before somewhere. Um, when I got these glasses, it was just by a fluke. Um, my glasses literally broke and I'm not a regular contact lens wearer. So my glasses broke and I had to quickly get glasses because I the wearing contacts thing got old. And my prescription, I was up for another prescription um, and I had to like beg my ophthalmologist, please just can I, my prescription was expired, can you just extend it a little bit so I can get another pair of glasses. I know I'm coming in in like six weeks for a new prescription, but I need to get some glasses. So um, she was, she was great. Unfortunately, she left to said sure and she went ahead and, and gave it to me. So I didn't want to get anything really expensive. And so I got these frames for I don't know, $9 or something. I just got cheap frames. I got cheap lenses in them. Somewhere along the line, they screwed up and put more expensive lenses in and didn't charge me. And I ended up loving these glasses. These have been like one of my favorite glasses. I get a lot of compliments on them. Um, they're my favorite color and so I really kind of want, wanted to just duplicate it. So when I did go and ask them if I could get new lenses popped in, they told me it would be $145. $145. That's more than all three of my Zenny pairs combined. So I can't bring myself to do that unless I win the lottery in the next few weeks. So instead, I went and ordered these glasses. So here's what I'm going to show you. They are purple because I love purple and I want to stay with them. All right, glasses number one. These are, I do like cat eyes, but I'm not sure that they are my style. These are number one. So those are my glasses. Um, it's a little different because the inside is light colored and the outside is purple and I'm not 100% used to it, but the pres prescription is my new prescription and it is improved. Of course, you go to the ophthalmologist once a year, so I'll be getting another prescription. You know, that's kind of the only bummer is these are a different prescription. If they were all the same prescription, I could wear any of these glasses and not notice the difference. But I know that if I start wearing my new glasses, my older glasses are going to you know, they're not going to look the same to me. So these are number one. I do like them. I like that they have a little bit of bling on them. Again, like I said, I'm going with the purple theme. Number two. And they both have these flex frames, which I love. I didn't know if anything came without flex frames. So these are number two. Not 
super different, but a little bit different. These kind of remind me of the glasses I had like in the 80s almost. But I used to wear gold. Gold was my color. I always had either gold glasses or black glasses. But after getting these purple ones, which I love, I'm completely sold on purple glasses. Okay, and then I'm going to show you the third ones, which are not glasses. Well, they're glasses, but they're sunglasses. Hold on. Last pair. These are sunglasses. I have fit overs. I feel like I'm 98 when I put them on, but you know, if the sun's in your eyes, sun's in your eyes. These do not have the flex things, and that kind of is a bummer. These are my sunglasses. They're not as dark. I wish they were darker um, and maybe had like the metallic whatever. They feel a little cheap. I gotta be honest. They feel kind of cheap. For a hundred and what, 32, 38 dollars? Oh my gosh. I'll drink to that. I am thirsty apparently. I was out running around. I went for a walk. It was so nice. Jeez, uh, these are a little slippery. That's it. Those are my three pairs of glasses. What do you think? Hmm? You might be seeing me wear them soon. I'm, I'm almost ready to cross over. Like I'm here, I feel like I'm kind of hoarding them. I've had these for two months and I haven't worn any of them yet. Like that's silly. But what I love is that I have more than one pair of glasses because I've always just had one pair of glasses. And then when something breaks or scratches, which they do, I had no other glasses. So that's kind of exciting. So on that note, I think the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you something that I got. It's a grandbaby's birthday in two days, three days, two days, and the theme is going to be Toy Story. That's what he loves so much. My daughter and uh, my son's girlfriend are doing a lot of the, like, I mean, we're not having a ton of people here because obviously, you know, it's COVID, or I should, can't say that. It's, ah, you know. So we're just doing something simple. He's two years old. Um, but since he loves Toy Story, they're gonna, you know, pimp the house out a little bit with some Toy Story stuff. I'm gonna make a cake. I was gonna make a green and blue layered cake for like the Buzz Lightyear colors. I suppose I could have done Woody. Oh well. Um, but I found these at Walmart. They're Alma's cake mixes. So there was a green one and a blue one. So I'm gonna do that. And then I'm just gonna do a blue frosting. And I found th these, Funfetti, uh, vanilla frosting. So I'll use that. And then they didn't have any number two candles. And this way I can put in two candles and I have a bunch left over because we're always looking for birthday candles. So that's what we're going to do. And I don't know if I'll post any video of it, but my parents watch my videos. So hi parents, hope you're doing well. I miss you, I miss you a lot. I will leave you with that and if you want you can come back every day of the month and hopefully i'll have a new video so see you later peace be with you bye